Wisconsin's largest farm show is showcasing the latest advancements that's helping to put food on your table. NBC15's Amy Flugsoft was at Farm Tech Days today and walks us through the evolution of the tractor and where it's going in the future. It's amazing to think just how far technology has come. Just three generations ago, farmers worked the ground pulling a plow behind a horse. But now, it's a different kind of horsepower propelling these massive pieces of machinery through the fields. Our neighbor had one of these. It was a walk down memory lane for Dan Bruning and Jerry Kerner. Put, 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 put. This was the yeah. one. Put, yeah. put, 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 put. We thought yeah. it was crazy. They relived their childhood years on the farm. When they started building these things, this was just, this used to be just a monster. While walking around the Heritage tractor display at the Dane County Farm Technology Days. And this would have been the first tractor that was on our farm. And I was born at 39, so actually this kind of predates me. And my, oh my, have tractors of today changed. Got a lot of gizmos yeah. and gadgets over years, you know, and but the big thing is the size. And they get just bigger and bigger and bigger. And a comfortable seat. Yeah. You know, the old tractors that we had had this, this metal seat, and you sat on that for 10 hours a day. It wasn't so much fun. But the comfort found in the cab is just the beginning. A 40 horsepower tractor might have been the biggest thing on their farm. Now that's a, a utility tractor. J.E. Cadle is a product specialist for Case IH and says it's more than just added horsepower. Another big change is, is uh, engine technology. These, these diesel engines are a lot cleaner than they were even 20 years ago. You'll see very little black smoke, um, very little uh, of any kind of uh, pollutants or anything like that. What, what you see here at the show, when they're taking you know, eight rows at a time, when we had a chopper, we did one row at a time. You know, and now we thought that was pretty hot stuff. That I, I remember when I was a kid, I remember there was an old, old guy who was out doing some carpentry work. We were building some kind of a building. And my brother was driving a tractor cultivating corn. And he said something to me. He said, you guys should stay on the farm because someday you'll sit here on the porch and just move levers around and that tractor will go back and forth by itself. And that wise man isn't too far off on his prediction. I think the next big leap is, is a guy, a farmer not having to be in the cab and the tractor's out there running without him. So uh, he could be sitting behind his desk and controlling three or four tractors. And while that may seem a long ways out, future farmers, just like this little guy, could see that and more in his lifetime. There's still one more day to check out Farm Technology Days, and it's important to remember it's not just for farmers. Organizers say there's a good balance that appeals to both rural and urban lifestyles.